Hey guys, today I uh, messed around in the garage a little bit. Can you see I put up um, some hanging hooks to put my the new drop spreader, the blower, and my mower bag as well. I needed a place to get those off the ground and honestly I just didn't have anything that was working so just painted some boards and put them in the wall and there we go. See I put my fertilizer actually in buckets here. I uh, put some uh, one type in the green buckets and the other type in the Texas, Texas flag buckets so I can keep them straight. Also added some flags along the back wall. See just spass it up a little bit you know. I didn't really have a good spot where I was putting my weed trimmers and everything so I put them both up there. Um, I have a third one somewhere around here. I mentioned a little bit ago but I'm excited to show you all. Um, picked this up maybe about a month ago and haven't done a whole lot with it yet. I wanted to save some time to work on it. And this is what I got guys. Now these things are sweet. They are the 80 pounds high wheel Lesco fertilizer spreader. And these things are awesome. They are really built very well. Uh, the placement parts are really cheap and easily, well, not cheap, but they're easily accessible. And so the stainless steel frame goes a long way over the plastic type of spreaders. So I'm, I'm way excited about this. Uh, the best part about this is not only just the steel frame, but the pneumatic tires go a long way. You know, as you're going down the lawn, instead of having bumps you're going over and fertilizer shaking out randomly, the pneumatic tires will, will do a lot better job of spreading it even. 80 pounds is probably a little overkill for me, but oh well. You know, these things can go for two or 300 used. Um, you know, they're like $500 new, but I picked this thing up for 25 bucks. 25 bucks. It's crazy. So when I picked it up, I had a couple issues. The frame is a little bent. Um, not a huge issue, but something I don't really mind. It also was squeaking really bad, uh, but I since fixed that, it's actually just the first thing I did. When I got home, I took a uh, grease gun, and there's two Zerks down here. Right here, right here, I'll show you. Right here, right here. So put some grease on it and boom, squeak with six right away. But the last issue is it leaks a little bit. So I'm going to turn it over today. I'm going to see what we can find. So I haven't really looked at this yet. Um, but it's leaking even when it, the shutoff valve is turned off. So let's see, that's the on position. No. Let's see, that's the. I think the trick here is going to turn it to all the way open. So it's just blowing out. And when I turn it off, for some reason it's getting stuck. It's not coming all the way. I think this bolt right here needs to be tightened or pushed up up this way so that this lever is pulling it even farther. Let's give that a shot. I 
Yeah, this is actually gonna be really easy. This uh, this lever is actually needing to be pushed back, so it, it needs to actually go this way. But it's almost actually fixed. I don't know if I did a very good job explaining that, but this lever right here, basically you push it or pull it, and when it's in the up position, everything's locked. And this plate down here, um, with the three holes in it for this spreader, um, it's supposed to be totally covering the uh, the holes. Um, but whenever this one is, when I picked it up, it's in the off position, half of the second hole or third hole is left uncovered. So it's a really easy fix. You just have to uh, adjust these bolts a little bit more so that this lever is pushed farther down. Guys, I think that's it. Don't see any gaps. Sweet. Okay, guys, I'm gonna lay down some fertilizer now that I've fixed the spreader. I'm gonna lay down some. Screaming green 16 2 and 3 it's so gonna lay down maybe about half a pound of nitrogen give or take so um, That's gonna be about um, Gonna need six pounds for Per thousand for one pound and I have about I'm gonna lay maybe just 3,000 square foot worth so um, That'd be 18 pounds if I'm looking to do a full pound for 3,000 so I'm going to need about 9 or 10, 9 or 10 pounds. So like I said, I've been keeping the fertilizer in the buckets now. Um, each bucket holds maybe 30, 35 pounds of fertilizer, so I'm going to do about a third or so of this bucket. Maybe a little more, doesn't hurt, right? All right, let's do this. Guys, the trick to doing this right too is to uh, make sure you're walking in straight lines and maybe do some overlapping action, crisscross, perpendicular to what you've done already. So let's give it a go. Oh guys, we got a problem. Oh no! It's a broadcast hand spreader. What am I talking about? Thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button down below if you wanna keep seeing more videos. I have my giveaway coming up here in the next video, so be on the lookout for that. You don't wanna miss out on that. And I'll see you in the next one.
so I ended up spilling more of my fertilizer, so I went back, got some more, and I'm just gonna hit up the last couple spots before heading. <laughs> 